Enjoy and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is a VR presentation. This is a comfortable level VR experience. Seat back and relax. Now dimming the lights.
Oh, I'd like to just, uh, uh, yeah, uh, acknowledge the incredible work of the people at SpaceX and, and NASA and everyone in, in uh, creating this technology and in, uh, in what has culminated in this incredible launch today of getting astronauts back to orbit after almost a decade. Um, I think this is something that should really get people, I mean, right on the heart of anyone who is, uh, has any spirit of exploration. And the United States is a distillation of the human spirit of exploration. I think this is something that's particularly important um, in the United States, but appeals to everyone with the, uh, throughout the world who has within them the spirit of exploration. So, um, I mean, I'm really quite overcome uh, with emotion uh, this day. It's, it's kind of hard to talk, frankly. Um, it's been 18 years working towards this goal, so it's, it's hard to believe that it's happened. Um, and we haven't quite yet docked at the space station, and of course we need to bring them back safely, and we need to repeat this, these missions um, and have this be a regular occurrence. Um, so it's a lot of work to do, uh, but uh, it's uh, it's just incredible. I, I think this is something that everyone, you know, it's, this is a, a craft made by humans, you know, for humans, this is like something that I think humanity should be excited about and proud of occurring on this day. Space flight was, was always the goal, the, the fundamental goal, SpaceX. Well, I'd like to, to uh, create the technologies or help create the technologies necessary to make life sustainably multiplanetary. I can't emphasize, I cannot emphasize this enough. This is the thing that we need to do. We must make life sustainably multiplanetary. Multi it's not one planet to the ex exclusion of another, but to um, extend life beyond Earth, we are life's agent in this regard. Um, all the creatures that, and the, the plants and everyone that, that exist here on Earth, we can bring them to other planets and, and it's very important that we do so as soon as possible, I think, while, while the window of opportunity is open. Um, I, I, 
I call upon, I call upon the public to support this goal and to think about this goal and think about how important it is and how fundamental it is to the future. We've got to get it done. The launching satellites is, is nice, of course, um, and it uh, keeps the, co you know, we've got to bring in more money than we spend. This is important, but it's ultimately uh, all about life beyond Earth. Does that make any sense? It's quite difficult. I, but I think the, the this is hopefully the first step on a journey towards a civilization on on Mars, of life becoming multiplanetary, you know, based on the Moon and expand, expanding beyond Earth, and, and life becoming a multiplanet species. It, it, life becoming multiplanetary for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. I think this is hopefully the first step on that journey. Um, it will require a, a tremendous amount of innovation and technology development to make going to orbit and ultimately beyond orbit a routine matter where thousands and perhaps ultimately millions of people can travel to other planets. That's, that's what we really need to achieve over time. We're, and and that, that's, that's obviously a very difficult goal, but that's, um, so that's seeming increasingly real with what happened today, that um, getting people to orbit finally after 18 years. If we, if we are able to increase that, the rate of innovation, then life can become multiplanetary. This is the goal we should strive for.